Good day, financial enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we bring you the latest updates from the corporate world. Let's dive right in. Cochin Shipyard. Amidst the market buzz, Cochin Shipyard stock value has seen an astounding surge of 298% over the past year. Closing at 901.65 rupees on BSE. ICICI direct research rates it a buy with a target price of 1055, citing robust shipbuilding and repair capabilities, coupled with a strong order backlog and promising growth potential. Tire stocks. On the flip side, tire stocks including Apollo Tires, Seat, MRF, and JK Tire have experienced a downturn losing up to 21% since the start of March. This decline is attributed to the mounting pressure on profitability due to soaring raw material prices. Upcoming week, despite being a truncated week with only three working days, the week ahead promises to be action-packed for Dilal Street investors. All eyes are set on the launch of the T plus zero settlement cycle by exchanges marking a significant development in the financial landscape. Federal Reserve Stance The Federal Reserve is contemplating rate adjustments in response to significant rises in unemployment, despite inflation concerns. Chairman Powell's focus on preventing a job-cutting spiral signals a commitment to prioritizing the labor market, potentially offering support to the economy and risk assets. Closing financial year 2023 to 2024, with the financial year to draw into a close, gold has delivered impressive returns of 11%, outpacing inflation by nearly double. Conversely, silver has seen more modest returns at 3.2% over the same period. IT sector accumulation, Damesh Shah. Head of Technical at ICICI Direct, suggests accumulating positions in the IT sector for medium-term gains. He anticipates a gradual recovery in the IT index, offering opportunities for investors. Prepare yourselves, shareholders. ICICI Bank Limited is set to deliberate and possibly recommend dividends on the 27th of April. Stay tuned for further updates. Mark your calendars for the 7th of May as Dr. Reddy's Laboratories Limited gears up to consider and potentially recommend dividends. Don't miss out on this crucial announcement. Attention all investors. Sun TV Network Limited is contemplating the declaration of an interim dividend on the 28th of March. Keep a close eye on this development. Listen up, shareholders. Sanofi India Limited has set the record date for the payment of a final dividend amounting to 117 rupees. Note that the record date is scheduled for the 3rd of May 2024. Exciting news. Indian Metals and Ferro Alloys Limited is considering the declaration of a special dividend. Save the date. The record date is slated for the 8th of April 2024. Attention, investors. Dwarkesh Sugar Industries Limited is initiating a buyback at 105 rupees per share. The buyback period spans from the 27th of March to the 3rd of April. The buyback ratio stands at 13 for every 816 shares for small and general shareholders. Hold on to your seats. Virgin Denison Limited is mulling over a proposal for bonus shares on the 30th of March. Stay tuned for further updates on this exciting development. Brace yourselves for potential changes. 
Andra Cements Limited is considering fundraising through a rights issue on the 28th of March. Keep a lookout for more details. Attention, shareholders. Hazor Multi Projects Limited is issuing a first and final call on partly paid up shares on a rights basis at 10 rupees. Stay informed about your investment decisions. Big news, folks. Patel Integrated Logistics Limited has approved the raising of funds through a rights issue. Keep an eye out for further announcements. Important announcement. Bandari Hosiri Exports Limited is contemplating a rights issue on the 29th of March. Stay updated on this development. Heads up, investors. Nakoda Group of Industries Limited is planning a rights issue of fully paid up shares amounting to 13 crore. The record date will be notified later. Calling all investors. Savani Financials Limited is initiating a rights issue at 10 rupees for 4,950 lakhs fully paid up equity shares. The issue period spans from the 1st of May to the 17th of May in a ratio of 1, 7. The record date is set for the 4th of April 2024. Update alert. McNally Barrett Engineering Company Limited has cancelled the record date for the reduction of capital. Stay tuned for the announcement of the new record date. That's all for today's corporate updates. Folks, make sure to subscribe to stay informed about the latest developments in the financial world. Until next time, happy investing. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up if you like, subscribe, press the bell icon and never miss an update, share and comment your thoughts on the comment section, and stay tuned with Corporate Actions India.